You better wash your ass. Hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, everybody? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead, do me that solid. Hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. For this video here, y'all seen the intro, so you already know what it is I'm gonna be speaking on. I'm gonna be speaking on the hygiene that is required inside of prison. Okay, a lot of people get themselves in you know messed up situations due to this. I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna let y'all know why, how to, you know, to take care of yourself when you in there. If you're a person on the streets that don't like to bathe or anything like that, I'm gonna tell you what can happen if you don't bathe. I'm gonna tell you what else you should be doing, you know, in order to make sure your hygiene is A1. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this one. Now, it's common sense. No matter where you are, whether it's on the streets, in the household with someone, whether it's in a juvenile program, a detention center, a county jail, a rehab, anywhere where you may find yourself surrounded by other people, nobody wants to be housed with someone who don't bathe, okay? So a shower is the number one thing that you're supposed to make sure your ass gets and make sure you have time for that each day while you are incarcerated, all right? The, the, the two things you ain't never supposed to buck inside of prison is a call out and a shower, all right? And the reason for that is because people find any type of reason to start shit with you. You know, me personally, I ain't trying to be in the room with nobody who don't bathe, all right? And that's just me, you know, and there's a lot of people like that. I've been put in a cell with people who don't bathe, you know, first day you let it slide, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe, okay, maybe he just forgot or maybe, you know, he, he had a long day at work or whatever it may be. Or he just, you know what I'm saying, maybe he took the shower and I didn't notice when he took the shower. You feel me? But after it goes on two days, you know, three days is definitely overdoing it. You know, stuff like that, there ain't no hiding it. You got to tell your bunkie, hey, man, get up, man. You got to go bathe, bro. Or else you and a couple of your homeboys come together and hold his ass down and just throw cups of water on him and a bunch of bars of soap. Okay? Because when you're in the cell with someone and they don't shower, or even if you're in an open bay dorm, and they don't shower, you know, you can smell that shit. It's, it's common sense, you know, after a while, even if you didn't do nothing all day. It don't matter if you just sat there and didn't move off your bunk all day. With, man, come within 24 hours, boy, it's about time that your ass takes a shower. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's what the hell you should be required to do. But in prison, a lot of people buck showers, okay? I've seen people grab people's mattresses their mattresses and throw them shits over the top tier down there into the damn day room and everything because they don't want a person who don't bathe in their room. You see what I'm saying? People will use the same damn towel that they're supposed to bathe with and they'll wipe the toilet seat down and wipe down the sink and stuff like that. You're not supposed to do things like that. You feel me? Hygiene is a big part of, you know, making it out of prison without getting like a staph infection or MRSA or, you know, scabies or, you know, all types of different shit that you can get. So you want to be as clean as you can because a lot of these institutions aren't clean as it is. You're going to wish you could have bathed. You feel me? So yeah, it's better take advantage of it and bathe as much as you can, you know? Now, as far as it comes to like, you know, smelling good and stuff like that, you know, the, the deodorants that they give you in prison, they're, they're roll-ons. You feel me? It's just, it's just, a, it's just like a tube, but with a big ball in it, and it's clear. It's clear. It's like water. You feel me? It's, it just smells a little good. But by the time your ass gets out of the shower and you get dressed and put that shit on, you're gonna be sweating. Your, your sweat's gonna outdo that roll on, man. That roll on shit don't really work. So a lot of people actually make their own homemade, you know you know, deodorant, you feel me? Whether they crush up soap and stick it in a bottle and shake it up or add, you know, different chemicals into it or baby powder. As y'all seen in the intro, I was baby powdering all on my neck. That's the number one thing a lot of people like to use when they're incarcerated for a smell good, okay? It gets rid of the smell of smoke. You feel me? You just blow it in the air. It, it, no matter, and you smell baby powder. To this day, you can use the restroom in a bathroom and when you're done, you don't need an air freshener and all that stuff like that. Just grab some baby powder and blow it in the air. Your whole bathroom is going to smell like baby powder. Okay, it has a real strong smell to it. So you'll see a lot of people walking around with big old white chalk marks across their neck in prison. That means, you know, that you could tell they just got out of the shower. You feel me? And 
Like I said, nobody wants to be housed with someone who's, you know, musky. You ask, gotta find something to put on, whether some people put toothpaste. I've seen people put toothpaste on before and it burned their skin up under here. Give them a big old rash and shit like that. You feel me? Just because they don't want to smell like they haven't showered. But at the same time, they're bucking the shower, so they're trying to do it with the toothpaste. Okay? Because, trust me, someone can smell you. You feel me? Whether you believe it or not, you can... You, you know how it is. You're just sitting there playing dominoes with someone or spades or whatever it is. Once they lift that arm up like that, boy, all it takes is for a little breeze to come through. And best believe, boy, you're going to get a whiff of what bruh smell like. You see what I'm saying? That's why, you know, you got to make sure you... you, you you feel me? Because people do get beat up behind this shit. Okay, I had a homeboy in there one time named Little Matt. Little Matt, he used to like buck showers. He was known for bucking showers. And he stunk everywhere he went. Everybody would ride him about taking a shower. And he'd be like, man, what you mean, man? I bathed two days ago. Or man, I just got done bathing, bro, an hour ago. No one ever seen him bathe. You know what I'm saying? Anytime someone caught him in the shower, they'd ride him and be like, hey, hey, hey y'all, tension in the dorm, boy. That boy in the shower, that, 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 and get everybody to run over there and look at it like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he bucked the shower so much. I don't know if it's a thing because people are scared of what goes on in the shower or whatever it is, but people do try to buck shower. And it's crazy because you see it on a day-to-day -day basis. You feel me? But like I said, remember the two things you're never supposed to buck. A call out in the shower. All right? Now, as far as brushing your mouth goes, you know, everyone's supposed to brush your teeth when you wake up in the morning. And the reason for that is because you do a lot of talking to people in prison. You know, when it, when it comes to communicating, it's it's y'all are up on each other like this. So you're going to smell the next man's breath. You don't want no one else to smell your hot ass dragon breath. You feel me? So you brush your mouth. It's common sense. You know what I'm saying? Like when people get on the, 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 the prison phone in there, okay? You know how you got the you got the cord and then you got the phone part. People put socks over the phone part. So when they like this, because that shit stinks. The bottom part where you talking to stinks. You might go like this and be talking on the phone. And then you'd be like, yeah, you heard what I said. And you'll get a whiff of that shit. And you just smell just straight different mouths from people with their hot ass nasty breath that have been talking on them phones. So a lot of places, they actually go to the line, sit in line to get on the phone. And they'll have a sock in their hand. Just a regular long ass like tube sock or whatever it is. You feel me? And... Because that blocks them from having to smell that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then um, another thing. When you're sitting here and you're talking to someone, right? If they're like, hey, bro, check this out, bro. Hey, check me out, bro. Check me out. And you get their attention. You know, the moment you turn your head right after they just released their voice. Like, hey, bro. The moment you turn your head, you know you're getting that breeze to where like it's a dead ass impact. Like, damn, bro. You need to brush your mouth, bro. You feel me? And that's one thing that a lot of people in prison and jails, you know, seem to like not do as much. Now, you'll be in places where people do it all the time, which I feel like you should do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom told me when I was younger and I was in prison, you know, in juvenile programs, she used to always tell me, don't eat a lot of candy. Because a lot of people go to prison and they teeth rot when they're in there. They come home with rotten teeth. They don't take care of their teeth while they're gone in there because they don't brush their mouth. Okay, now as far as it goes, when it comes to brushing your mouth though in prison, one thing that I will tell y'all that you never ever want to do is spit in the sink. Believe it or not, that is very disrespectful, very dirty in there, and it could get you in a lot of problems if you have a cellmate or a bunkie. Okay, people do not spit in the sink inside of prison. I know out here when you're in your house, <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? That's that's your common thing. That's what you're used to. But inside of prison, it isn't like that. You're, you're, you're supposed to brush your mouth and spit in the toilet, flush your toilet. You never spit in your sink. And that right there, I've seen a couple old school dudes, you know, fire up their bunkies with locks over that shit. You know, because they're going to want to see how you do your time. And they want to see if you're going to cooperate or if you're going to, you know, be a problem or if you're going to be a chill person to live with. Because everyone's in prison. Y'all are all under the same exact institution. Y'all are just near each other a certain amount of hours a day. But when you are in a room with someone or in an open bay with 90 people and there's eight toilets, eight shower heads, and eight sinks, then, you know, y'all got to use the same stuff. And people will literally get fired up over that shit, man. You know, 
brushing your mouth and spitting in the sink, man, is it isn't a simple mistake. You get what I'm saying? You may be able to slip up one time and then your bunkie say, hey, bro, you ain't supposed to, you know what I'm saying? And then you do it again, boy, they might get you up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And hygiene is a, is a high, high thing that is recommended in prison, okay? No one can stand a dirty ass person. Okay, you have officers that'll get tired of people that ain't bathing and then they'll see that inmates are complaining about it, that they'll let inmates go over there and pick that person up, escort them to the shower and hold them down. You also have officers that will take an inmate in the middle of the night and bring them and hose them down themselves. Pour all that liquid on you that's for lice and stuff like that. Pour all that on them and hose them down because they know they ain't never going to shower. You know what I'm saying? If it's... You know, you'll, you'll look around in prison and you'll see people that are white, that are ashy, okay? Not just the black people be ashy in prison. White people be ashy too because a lot of people be bucking them showers. For some reason, you know, I guess they listen to the stories about what goes on in a shower so much that they're scared to get in there, which it does go down in the shower, but it isn't always like that. You feel what I'm saying? I've seen people shower perfectly fine i shower perfectly fine it's to the point to where they allow you to shower boy you better get in there and touch that water you feel me now i've been places where the water alone is so damn hot so hot that you can't even get in the shower it'll literally like take your skin off of you so people will fill up them big old uh what is it called folders or whatever the coffee Big old coffee bins like this. They'll fill those up from the sink and be standing in the shower area, but not under the shower. They'll be like where the walk area is where you brush your teeth and look in a little mirror and they'll be dumping the water from the sink on them because it isn't as hot as the water that's coming out of the shower. And then I've also seen it the other way to where it was freezing cold and the only hot water was in a sink and they were using mop buckets. People filling a mop bucket up, okay? Now, it blows my mind because here, people don't want you to spit in the sink, okay, right? But they want you to spit in the toilet, right? What else goes down that toilet? Everything when you use the restroom. But people also wash their laundry inside the toilet. They'll go downstairs, get them a mop bucket, You'll think they're going to fill that mop bucket up with water. They'll come up there and put that mop bucket upside down, set it next to the toilet. They'll sit on the mop bucket and they'll use their toilet to scrub their clothes and everything. You feel me? So it's like, don't allow it in the sink, but allow it in the toilet because everything else goes down the toilet. But people wash their clothes over there. You see what I'm saying? Them same toilets, people treat them shits like they're gold. You feel me? And that's common sense. Like, you know, they want their shit to look nice. But when you spit in the sink, it's disrespectful. You see what I'm saying? Now, when packages come around in prison, which is like every three to four months, you know, they have special orders where you can order like exclusive shit. You know, like Irish Spring, VO5. You know, you can get real deal, a better roll on than the ones that they hand out. Because they got a little like $1.99 clear, clear one. And then they got a $4.99, $5 one. Which is like, which is like, it's like a white liquid. It looks like milk coming out of there. If you, if you spin the ball, the ball will be dry. And then when you spin it, the bottom of the ball have like this milk liquid on there. So it like keeps dipping in the liquid. Kind of like, it looks just like them things that, them um, things people used to use like to scuff, to, to fix scuffs on their shoes. Where it came in like a little thing and it had the sponge at the end and you would use it. And when you push down on it, the ink, the dye would come out. The shit to patch up your black shoes or your white shoes. Look just like that kind of. You feel me? And people steal them shits from you and everything. You know, and sell them. People are selling them more than they are using them. That's just crazy to me. But you never want to be one of them people in prison that are labeled as someone that stinks. Someone that doesn't carry herself right. And like I said, there's so much sicknesses going on that you want to make sure your hygiene game is on point. Because the littlest slip up, you can, you, can, you can catch something even if you take showers every day and put deodorant on 
you know, brush your mouth every day. You know, there's still certain ways that you could still catch some nasty things while incarcerated. You feel me? So you want to make sure when you shower that, you know, you, you take your time with it as much time as you can. Because believe it or not, after working in the kitchen all them hours or cutting grass on inside grounds or, in, or, or outside grounds, whatever it is, man, you get, you be, man, you got germs all over you, man. Literally. And it's crazy because a lot of people, believe it or not, go to sleep with that shit on them. They'll go to sleep smelling like coffee cakes and, and fucking bread. You know what I'm saying? And biscuits. Jelly. Grits. Yellow grits. You know what I'm saying? Like, come back with that shit all on them and everything. And be so tired from their shift that they'll just go to sleep. And then when they wake up tomorrow, the showers ain't open. You feel me? Because majority of the camps I was at down here, except for on the weekends. But during the week, they, they turn the showers on at 5 o'clock. Same thing with the phones. Phones don't come on till 5 o'clock. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, man, damn, you already can't shower till 5 o'clock. From 5 till 10. You got 5 hours. Them showers are open for 5 hours. And there's 100 inmates in this dorm. You get what I'm saying? Boy, you better get in that water when you can. Don't be one of them ones that people pick on and make fun of. And shit like that. You don't want to be one of them nasty ass people like that. You don't want to be even labeled someone like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're when you when you carry yourself like that, you don't look like a boss. You don't look like the way a, a playmaker or someone that you know carries theirself that would you know get money or you know don't fuck with people wants to mind his own business and everything. But at the same time, you you don't bathe. You don't bathe. Like, bro, that, that brings so much attention to you, bro. That's worse than being a gang member and not being certified, if you ask me. <laughs> like, straight up, bro. Like, because if you're if you're claiming you're a gang member and you're not really a gang member, the only person's radar you're on for false claiming is the gang members. But if your ass don't shower every day and you're known as someone that don't shower, the whole compound knows your ass stink. The whole compound knows you don't shower. You feel what I'm saying? Like, for real. I've met people in prison... That, you know, because they, they ain't got no way to brush their mouth or anything like that. That they'll literally just squeeze toothpaste on their mouth, on their on their finger and stick it in their mouth. Just so their mouth smells minty. You feel what I'm saying? Like people eating toothpaste and shit. That's what people do just so their breath don't stink. You get what I'm saying? So it's like hygiene is a high, high must do in prison. They wake you up every single morning to clean up your room. When they come around, it depends on if you're on the compound or if you're in confinement. When you're in confinement and they pop your flat, they give you a broken wooden broom. Here's the head of the broom and there's like this big of a pole on there. You know what I'm saying? And a dustpan. They give the look, they squirt, they tell you to get away from the door and they squirt it through the flat. So it lands on your floor. Then they give you the little mop head to mop it on up. They give you a little styrofoam cut with a little bit of chemicals in it, which is basically like Fabuloso. You feel me? But they want you to clean your cell almost on a daily when you're in prison. Okay? They come around for cell inspection. That shit better be spotless. And everyone knows that. That's why people clean that shit even when there ain't inspection. Even when they, just because they feel like they might come, they're already cleaning that shit. You get what I'm saying? Your bunky ain't going to allow that shit to get too dirty just in case they come around. Unless both of y'all smoke Tunchi and y'all are twackheads. You see what I'm saying? But in the county jail, man, they come around, they got that little scrub bush for the toilet, a little thing of Ajax, they give you a pair of gloves, and they make you clean your cell. You be in there in a six-man cell, or a four-man cell, a three-man cell, a one-man cell, a two-man cell, whatever it is, and they're going to have it to where y'all rotate and y'all got to clean. That shit there, boy, is serious. Boy, hygiene and making everything clean and spotless is a must because... You never know what you could catch inside a prison. People catch things just off of mattresses. Just off of sleeping on a mat that someone else used that had something. Okay? Imagine the county jails, how dirty they are. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but in Broward County, I know one thing. When you come to jail, they let you pick whatever cell you want when you're in intake. When you first come in and you're on the second floor, they put your ass in there. You either go to the felony side or the misdemeanor side. And they just give you a bedroll and throw you in the quad and you go find whatever room you want. And that shit just rotates. One dude after another. One dude after another. Homeless people love to go to jail when it's cold out. So they ain't got to worry about catching the charge or freezing to death. So they'll actually catch a little 
you know, trespassing during the whole winter and stay in the county jail and refuse to take a deal until their time's up. You feel me? Until they get time served. Oh, it ain't cold no more. You feel me? And then they get out, time served. But they had food while they were in there and it was warm. <clears throat> and they didn't have to worry about no one fucking with them. But these homeless people, you know, not just homeless people, but I'm using it as an example, they carry things. You know, they're dirty. They have it. They ain't bathed in a while, you know, and it ain't just because they're homeless. There's other people that have houses that don't bathe that will bring things into the county jail and there'll be shit all on mattresses in this room, all on that toilet or whatever. And then let's bring the next set in here. And then you're laying on the same one. You got to hope they came and cleaned that mattress soon. You feel me? Like that's how it is. So hygiene is a must. Literally, if you take care of yourself with the hygiene and you make sure you bathe, wear your deodorant or even baby powder under here if you want to, you know, brush your mouth. If you end up catching something or getting like a staph infection or or MRSA or something like that, it's going to be not because you didn't bathe. You'll know it wasn't you. It was your surroundings. It was where you were at. And then that's going to make you want to be a damn, what's it called? The people that are like obsessed with certain things, you'll be obsessed with your hygiene. You want to make sure you brush your mouth three times a day. Take a shower two times a day if you can and everything. Just because you don't want to catch the shit you caught last time. You'll, you'll realize your environment is dirty as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because literally, even in the child halls in prison, all they do is they got a, they got a, a, a bucket with water and soap in it. And then they have everybody come through and they have one inmate walking around with ripped up rags. Two different ripped up rags that they drop into the soap water. Go wipe the table down, get big old scoops of the food off the or whatever people dropped off their plate, and then they'll drop them back in there with the soapy water. So that shit went from just clean soap water to like every table wiped for all the dorms to eat, which would be anywhere from 900 to 1500 inmates. You feel me? And just drop right back in there. And then they're gonna use that same bucket of soap water for next shift. So if that was breakfast, them rags will be sitting there in that water and soap with all that food and everything until lunch. And they're going to dip in there again and get it or whatever. So in my eyes, it's like, damn, they're dirty in the table more than they are cleaning it. The person that's cleaning the tables is even wearing gloves. So he's not touching the shit. You feel me? But at the same time, them tables were better off not being wiped down. Because next thing you know, you'll realize... Them tables stink. The metal stinks. Whether you're in there just chilling, they got a shakedown and they make everyone sit in the chow hall or whatever it may be. You're just in there chilling because it's the compound's locked down and they won't let y'all leave the chow hall. So you, next thing you know, you catch yourself sitting there like this, you know, just with your arm like this and this arm like this. You start smelling the table. You're like, damn it, this tape, it stinks, bro. That's because they don't, the hygiene of the chow hall, you feel me? They're not taking care of the chow hall like they should. You feel what I'm saying? That's why. It's dirty as hell in the chow hall. You feel me? Just like there's dirty inmates everywhere. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, I hope y'all get the point of this, this video. This video right here is just to tell y'all the breakdown of the hygiene. Make sure your ass is always clean. Because you never know what you might catch in there. Your family members come see you at Vizio. You caught some shit. You give each other the hugs when y'all first get there and see each other. Now you done rubbed off on them, whatever you got. Now they go home. They catch whatever it is. They don't even know it came from where you're at. Then they give it to someone else in your family. You know, all this shit. When it can, majority, a big population of it can be prevented. As long as you took care of yourself. You better get in there and bathe and brush your mouth as much as you can now. There ain't no, there ain't no time limit on brushing your mouth like there is bathing. Because you have your toothbrush or toothpaste with you wherever you're at. You get what I'm saying? Whether you're in the box, whether you're in, you know, on the compound, no matter where it is. You can go in your locker and you can pull your toothbrush out and your toothpaste and brush your mouth. The toothpaste they give you is like white or clear wherever you're at. And it's like a gel. Shit just tastes nasty going in your mouth. You feel me? But it's better than nothing. Okay. They used to give us in the county jail, they gave us these little toothbrushes, the same ones that I feel like they use on dogs. It's just like a rubber. It looks like a little rubber. It's a finger. It's the shape of a finger. It's like just a rubber thing, and it's got the little bristles on it. That's it, and then, it's, and then you're throwing them away. Same thing they use to clean like dogs' mouths and shit. You feel me? In the chain gang, when they give you a toothbrush, they give you a little one about this big. 
It's about this big and it's got like a like a thumbprint at the tip of it. So you can hold it with your finger like that. They're dark green. Okay, they used to give us taller ones, but I ain't seen those in a while. The, uh, but the little one like this, them shits don't really be doing. Just like the one you rub on your in, in the county jail. People use their washcloth. People will grab their washcloth, their rag, and put toothpaste on there and scrub their mouth with their rag. Just so that way they're scrubbing. You feel me? People go like this and their whole washcloth will look all bloody looking and shit from their gums. From how hard they're trying to get all that shit up out of there. Because you want to clean your mouth, man. You feel me? It's such a dirty place, it's unreal. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So y'all stay on top of that hygiene shit, man. This is for anybody who ever may don't like to bathe and may find themselves in any jail situation. Make sure you bathe. If you don't, people gonna be on your ass like shit on flies. I promise you. Okay? But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Um... I want to say thanks to everyone that hit that subscribe button just recently. We passed uh, 50,000, you know, 50,000 subscribers. Right now, we're almost halfway to 51K, you feel me? Which is awesome. I appreciate that. Y'all could also catch me on my gaming channel, k for all Gaming. I'll be over there streaming all the time. A couple more thousand subscribers, and I'm going to be giving away two PlayStation 5 consoles. Okay? Everyone knows I just gave away an Xbox Series X to someone when I hit 4,500, which it was awesome. I felt good for doing that. The next one is going to be when I hit 8K. But anyways, y'all have a good day. Y'all already know New Year's is coming. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Till next time, this is Pro.